go. Okay, today we're gonna to do some awesome at-home experiments involving pressure. Pressure, we're gonna do four really cool experiments you can try at home. Okay, the first one involves a balloon that's fully inflated. And here I have a push pin. Now, if I take the push pin and I pop the balloon, okay, we know it would pop very easily because we've done that before, it's very sharp. But what if I take the opposite end, the uh, blunt end, and I were to try to pop the balloon, well, nothing happens, okay? Because pressure equals force divided by surface area. So if we have a lot of surface area like this, then that minimizes the pressure. On the other hand, if we have very little surface area, well, if we take force divided by a little surface area, that greatly increases the pressure, makes it really big. So it would just take a really little tap to pop the balloon. Okay, ready? One, two, are you nervous? Okay, I like to pause, it adds to the drama. But if I, again, if I take the opposite end, I can, you know, could I pop the balloon with the opposite end? Yes, I probably could. It would take a lot of force, a lot of force. But if I flip it, it would just take really just a little bit of force, barely, <laughs> barely touch it, barely touch it and it pops. So that's force divided by area equals pressure. And my viewers here are all panicked and nervous and stressed. I love it. All right, uh, demo number two here in the kitchen. Um, this involves uh, a cup filled with water and some type of cardboard or um, index card. Um, I don't have any index card, so I will use a paper plate. Okay, so I fill this up with water. Go over the sink a little bit, Audrey. Okay. So I fill this with water. I take my plate, put it over top, and I flip it, and it holds. And it holds because the pressure below, the air pressure below, is slightly more than the pressure inside, and it holds. Now do it over a sink because um, sometimes this does not work because the paper could soak or it might not, be, might not be a tight seal. Now something that's fun to do is if I set it here, you can slowly pull the paper out and create, oh, I made a mess here because um, my cup wasn't flat or the, the plate wasn't flat, but if you quickly slide the, the, the card out, you can make a little water bomb Next person comes, they pick it up, and water is everywhere. Fun little trick. Okay, next time on our list involves my favorite coffee mug in the world. I love this mug because it has my precious daughter, Audrey, when she was a baby. Uh, this is my favorite mug, and um, I love this mug. And watch this, I'm gonna take a balloon, a balloon, I'm gonna put it in the mug. I blow up the balloon. And watch that. They do it over the floor, six feet off the ground. And you can see that it's held in place. Now, Audrey's a little nervous because if this mug drops, it would shatter. But if I pull it, it's not going to come out. Because as I blow up the balloon, air gets pushed out inside the cup. We can create low pressure inside the cup. Inside the cup, low pressure. The outside of the cup is higher pressure. And pressure always pushes from high to low and it holds it in place, kind of like a suction cup. So we have a great pre pre uh, pressure difference. If I try to pull it out, I can't. I can't. It's in there pretty good. So no, no worry, it's not going to drop. Now, if I slowly let the air back out, air goes into the cup, it pulls out. Okay, cool little demo you can try at home. All right, next on our list, this is one of my favorites and this is the egg squeeze. Here I have two raw eggs from Maple Hoff. I'm gonna use a bag just in case, just in case. Put it inside of a Ziploc bag and seal it. Okay, now we know that it's easy to break an egg. You know, you can just tap it on the side of the countertop and it's gonna break. I've done that before. It's easy to break an egg with a sharp edge, like a countertop or um, a finger, but if I take an egg and wrap my hand around it, okay, now all of a sudden I have a lot of surface area and it's hard to break the egg because there's no sharp edges. So if I put it in my hand and I squeeze, right now I'm giving it about 50%. Zoom in there, Audrey. The egg's not breaking. Now if I go a little harder, you see my hand starting to shake? If I go a little harder, 
the egg's still not breaking. Now I'm going about 70%. Now I'm going to shake the hand like I'm shaking the hand of a boy who wants to date my daughter when she's 16. I'm going to give it a good hard squeeze. I'm giving it really hard. This is like 90%. See my arm shaking, my veins popping. The egg is not breaking because my force is great, but I also have a lot of surface area. And the more surface area we have, that decreases the pressure. So I just can't get enough pressure on the egg. I'm trying, I'm trying. Now, why is it in the bag? Sometimes eggs are weak and it has like a weak little crack in the shell and then the yolk would splatter everywhere. So we use a bag just in case. But you can see my arms are going as hard as I can and I just can't break the egg. Now, if I use two hands, then maybe I could possibly do it if I get enough force, but with one hand, can't break the egg. Now, just to prove that this was not some, not some fake egg or some bionic egg, I'll show you that this is indeed just a regular, normal egg that can't be broken by squeezing. Okay, so those are four really cool demos. Um, we'll do some more next week involving Mentos and Diet Coke and some other really awesome demos, but that's it for now. So thanks for watching.